Family and friends remember the heroes of Flight 93 during a solemn ceremony at the Flight 93 National Memorial today. 13 years ago this morning, United Flight 93 crashed into a field near Shanksville in Somerset County as 33 passengers and seven crew members took control of the plane from a group of terrorists. It's believed that those terrorists had planned to fly the plane into the U.S. Capitol. And during today's ceremony, former House Speaker Dennis Hastert donated the flag that flew atop the U.S. Capitol on that very day. He says the Capitol may not have been standing if it were not for the passengers and crew. Governor Tom Corbett was also on hand addressing visitors, friends and family. The crowd much smaller this year, but emotions still very strong. It's somber. You know, uh, over the last 13 years, the time passes, people forget. But as this date approaches, I think everybody in our whole country remembers. A congressional gold medal awarded to those who died at the site was presented during the ceremony. The powerful images of the attacks of 9-11 are still etched in our memories, but for some, it is an important history lesson. And Maria Miller has been in Somerset County all day for us, and she talked to those who are still learning about exactly what happened. Maria? Yeah, Jen, anyone alive on September 11th, 2001 knows exactly where they were when the first tower was hit. It's a thought many of us reflect on every year on this day. But for those who were toddlers at the time, others who weren't even born yet, September 11th is merely a story, a time in history that they're still learning about. My brother, he remembers like where he was when it happened and like he told me how scared he was and like my parents. But Shannon Miller doesn't remember September 11th, 2001 at all. I was probably only two. She and several of her classmates made the hour or so trip to Shanksville Thursday from Southern Garrett High School in Oakland, Maryland. It's a trip their teacher says he's been thinking about the past couple of years. I felt that we had come to a point where these students were only two or three years old when this happened. They didn't live through it like um, um, the rest of us have. And I uh, wanted to make sure that what happened on this day, especially a place so close to where we, we live, uh, would be remembered. And it's a similar story for these cheerleaders from Central Cambria in Evansburg. I was about three months old. The girls were on hand Thursday to pass out water and snacks to those in attendance and to reflect on the part of history many of them weren't even around to see. Right now we're studying it in my social studies class and we were seeing the videos of the plane crashing and it just really shocks me about what happened and how this could happen to us because we've taken so many precautions to make America safe. It's a day that united the country and encouraged many to serve, like Mitchell Taylor, who's currently in the ROTC but has plans to go to the Army. I just like to make a difference in the world. And it's sad that those people lost their lives, but I mean, it's a good experience and they were heroes, so it's a good thing to learn about. And and that generation we talked with this morning is just one of the many reasons why the Visitor and Learning Center is being built up on top of the hill here behind me. It'll be a place to remember the lives that were lost and tell their heroic stories for years to come. Reporting live in Somerset County, Maria Miller, 6 News. Maria, thanks. Some of those people too young to remember include the children of some of the passengers and crew aboard Flight 93. Emerson Glick and Nathan Bradshaw were just babies when they each lost a parent. And today they spoke during the ceremony describing the Congressional Gold Medal awarded to those who lost their lives in the terror attack on September 11th. The medal awarded to the 40 passengers and crew who died on Flight 93 was presented to the Park Service this morning where it will be on display for the next several days and then eventually be permanently displayed in the new visitor center when it is finished, hopefully, next year. The heroes of Flight 93 and other victims in the 9-11 attacks were honored at the Flight 93 Chapel in Stony Creek Township. Six News was there this afternoon for the second annual memorial service, and organizers are hoping this becomes a tradition with prayers and hope for all of the victims' families. We cannot forget, it's not only on September 11th that we have to remember, but I urge all our 
the area to come and to visit the governmental monument and to visit the United Airlines monument here at Flight 93 Memorial Chapel. So I encourage our community strongly to come and to see and to hopefully in the future that they will be here with us. The Somerset High School band and chorus performed at that service.